and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new GIMP tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to do this beam effect that you see on my desktop right here for my wallpaper. These neon lights, if you want to call it that, that are circling around um, two characters here. We're we'll teaching you how to do that. As you can see um, in this picture right here, uh, the blue is going on top of the characters, then going behind, on top, behind, on top, and then behind on top again. Same with this, this pink one. I'm going to go behind, coming on top, then behind, and on top again, going upwards. So I'm going to teach you how to do this effect on GIMP. So I'm going to be opening my copy here because if I start from scratch and render and everything and make a background, then obviously it's going to take forever. Um, if you don't know how to render, um, because You'll see in my image here that I have that I have the uh, the two characters here rendered. Um, I have a video on how to render, so go to my channel and you'll be taught how to render as well in another video. So now, we, now I have my project file open. Um, I'm just going to delete the layers that here, the effects that I have on and everything. Um, we're going to keep our. As you can see here, these two characters are rendered out of the, out of a main image. If you want to know how to do that. There's a video on that in my channel. Go and check it out, and you'll learn how to do that too. Now, um, what you want to do is you want to obviously open your image and then place your rendered picture on. Um, I have mine as a black background. You don't need to have a black background. You can have it whatever you want, but um, I have it as a black background. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our paths tool, which is the tool right here. Should be near the uh, color picker tool. Um, if you have it like mine here, it should be in the second row. If you have it's set the way I have it set here. So what you want to do is you want to make a new layer before you do anything. Make a new layer. Make sure the layer is on top of everything. Make sure it's the top layer. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to start making our path. So I'm going to start right here. Then I'm going to move it over here. Now, when you click your second time, the second dot you make here, you want to make sure you make a little curve here. So it's just moving your mouse. You basically hold down your mouse um, to make this curve here. So I'm going to make it like that. Then we're going to have it like that, and actually we're going to keep it like that, then like that, and keep on making curves around your, around your rendered layer. And if you're not using a render layer, just make your path the way you want it to look right here. So this is my path here. Basically, all I did was use the paths tool and make some dots, make some curves like that. That's all I basically did with the paths tool. And um, you'll see your path here. I have these other extra paths here. I don't need them to delete these. So here's your path. You can have it uh, visible or not visible. I'm pressing the, little eye the eyeball con uh, icon here. And... Um, yeah, so there, that's your path. So we're going to go back to our layers menu right now. So make sure you have your uh, first layer still selected. We're going to go up to edit and we're going to go down to um, stroke path. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you have stroke with a paint tool selected. You also want to make sure that your paint brush size isn't too big. I have it at 20. I'm going to make mine to 15. You want to make sure you don't have a too big of a um, stroke size. So after that, uh, emulate brush, you don't need to have that on. Um, so keep it like this, click stroke. Now what you'll notice is if we take our path off, you have this black um, paint path here. That's what you want. So I'm going to keep my path off. Now still working on the first layer, we're going to go up to filters, we're going to go to alpha to logo, and we're going to click neon. Now what this does, it'll bring up a dialog box. Um, what you want to do is you want to have your effect size at about 30 pixels. Your background color should be black. Your glow color will depend on what you want. I'm going to keep it at this turquoise color. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little darker. Oh, that will do right there. And if you want to have a drop shadow, you can make a drop shadow. Um, for my wallpaper here, I don't have a drop shadow. But if you want to have a drop shadow, for this tutorial, I'll just make a drop shadow because I haven't done it before. So you can make a shadow or not make a shadow. Click OK and it will start um, placing the effect on. It involves a bunch of Gaussian blurs and it's basically going to do it for you. So there you go. Now you have this black stuff though. You have all this, this black covering your image. All you have to do is basically find the background layer here in your layers panel. The background layer is all black. You know, I'll just delete the layer and 
it's right there. Now what you want to do is if you have a shadow, if you have your glow and you have your neon right here, these three layers right here, this is your shadow layer. Let me start from the top. This right here is your glow layer. This right here is your main color layer. And this right here is your shadow layer. Now what you want to do is you want to merge all these three down. So top layer, just click merge down and then merge down one more time. And you have your entire um, beam selected. Now you want to do is you want to make sure that it looks like you have one going behind, one going on top, one going behind, one going on top. Now obviously you don't want to have your faces covered. So if this one goes in top, this one goes behind. This one goes on top, this one goes behind. This one goes on top. So you you have it colored so you want to make sure this one's behind on top behind on top behind so all you basically do to make it look like it's going behind it's just a simple erasing job make sure you stay on your, on your uh, glow layer here don't be working on your character layer or your background layer make sure you're working on this layer so basically all you gotta do is uh, start erasing just like that and this will make it look like it's going behind your um, main layer of your subject that you're putting the glow around just like that now I'm doing this kinda quickly so I might mess up or it might not look perfect but this is just a purpose of the tutorial anyway so let's just keep erasing here as you can see I messed up a layer some black now when you do you, you, you want to do it slower when you do this because you don't want to have this black right here so now we have one that goes behind this one goes on top and we go to the third one here this one should be behind so we do all we do again we erase you can use a bigger uh you can use a bigger stroke you can use a bigger brush size if you want to make it go a little faster but be aware that when you come to the to the edges of the character or the subject or the item that you're putting a glow around that um you have to be careful on the edges here because it can be a little tricky you can see uh, there's a black here you don't want to have this black you want to have your beam still here now i'm doing this kind of quickly obviously so that's why it doesn't look perfect but when you do this you can make it look perfect so there we go so all uh, right there we got erase this part right here the hand again i messed up there I'm doing it fast that's why but when you do it uh, do it slower so there we go and then this one goes on top again and then this one goes behind so we obviously don't want the faces to be covered so like that I messed up there again again I'm doing it fast uh, keep on doing this doing this doing this and when you get to here see when you do this you want to be careful you want to make sure that you have your main image the beam is erased but you want to make it look like it's actually going through the back so you have to do this very slowly and not do it as fast as I'm doing it here because then it will look kind of crappy which is probably what this is gonna look like kind of crappy okay so there we go so there we go. We have our we have our beam going from the back, going on top, going behind, going on top, going behind, going on top again. So that's how you do it. That's basically it. You can you can add a background here. You can add you know some stars, some dots, whatever you want. Add some other effects, and it'll look pretty good. But this is how you do the beam effect. Um, if you want to have this type of Aurora background here. I'm gonna do another tutorial on it. So you can look at my channel right now. It might be there. Um, if it's not there, then I probably got too lazy to do the tutorial. But I'm probably gonna do it right now. So you'll see it there. Um, that's basically. It. You can add more of these. I added two of these just for the heck of it because it looks nice. Um, you can add as many as you want. And that's basically it. You just merge your layers down and um, go to file export and that's basically it thank you for watching i have plenty of tutorials on gimp audacity windows movie maker just on a regular computer um plenty of tutorials if you want to check those out do so subscriptions are very appreciated if you'd like to like this video or leave a comment that would be great um so thank you for your contributions and thank you for watching this is gs smart i'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere